Normally, the nipple drinkers are meant to help make the work in the poultry farm more efficient because it saves time, it saves energy, it saves cost on the long run. But there comes a time when these nipple drinkers become the main problem we face in the poultry house. Because number one, the farmer already have in mind that there is constant flow of water. And it gives the farmer false hope when there is malfunctioning of the nipple drinker. And also at times the nipple drinker turns out to become a source of infection to the best. So in this video I'm going to be sharing with you the routine activities you need to constantly be doing to ensure that your nipple drinkers adhere to their regular function. And the video is starting after this one minute advert. Wait, wait, no skip this advert. I know you're interested in poultry farming. That's why you'll be about to watch that video right now. Seeking guidance that will give you the courage to raise broilers and make profit. In the broiler video course, you will learn everything you need to know and succeed in raising broilers from the planning stage that will teach you how to estimate how much it will cost you to raise the best, how many bags of feed it will take you to feed the bears, the building structure, the spacing of the bears, to the preparation stage, the things you need to do before these bears arrive and the materials you need to be on ground, and then to the day-to-day -day activities. Do you know you can raise broilers for six weeks and they are matured enough and big enough to be sold in the market? Yes, it's possible. The broiler video course will teach you how to do that. And at the end of the day, I'm going to teach you six different ways to sell your broilers effectively and very fast. And when you to the course, let me teach you how to do it properly. So you'll be cashing out as a poultry farmer. First, I'm going to be starting with the daily activities you need to do on your nipple drinkers. Number one, you need to make sure that you clean the cups of the nipple daily. This is the cup of the nipple. Yes, some nipple drinkers don't come with cup. But if you are using a deep litter system, it's advisable you make sure that your nipple drinkers come with cup. Because if you look right inside here, you will see water left over. Check this one, there's water left over. Check this one, there's water left over. That means as the bears are tapping here to drink, there are extra droplets that don't enter their mouth, so those ones are meant to hit the ground. But the function of this cup of the nipple is to pick it up so that you don't wet your litter. So, one of the daily activities you need to do is to make sure that you clean this cup of the nipple because it can become a source of infection to the best, especially as you can see there is a wood shaving inside here, probably dropped by one of the best we are playing around or flapping their wings about. And then if you look closely, you see feed particles that fell off from possibly the beak of the bed that drank water here last. Or one of the beds that drank water here. So some of these things, when you leave them like this and you don't clean them daily, it can become a source of infection to the bears later on. Then the second activity you need to engage in daily about the nipple is to make sure that you regularly inspect the nipple for damage or blockage. If there is blockage in the nipple, this is how to just simply arrest that by this edge is this red this red side is rotatable you can just rotate it this way turn it around and then bring it down if i bring it down now water will flow and then anything blocking here will certainly flow out with it i don't want to open it to avoid wetting the litter ah oh, shit okay i've closed it back the second thing you should do is to clean and sanitize inside the pipe this is the pipe you can never guess what's happening inside here unless you have one and you cut it open to look in to see what's happening but what you should expect to see are all these slimy cheesy materials that are left behind possibly by all the drugs that you've been administering to the best you know they will still pass through the pipe to discharge to the best through the nipple so some of them do get left behind and when these things accumulate over time, it can become a breeding ground for bacterial infection. So how we normally do this over here is um, twice a month, we soak inside the pipe with isochlor. Isochlor, you can get it in, in any veterinary outlet. Isochlor, we don't put just small, we put enough inside the black butter of the nipple drinkers and then allow it to flow and slip inside the pipe, even with the best in. The way we normally do it, it will be dangerous for the bears to drink that particular water. So we do it in the night, in the midnight, when the bears 
are still active, you know. Normally, raising broilers, you need to leave the lights on for them 247. Even layers, layers have their lightning, lighting program. So, anytime you are going to soak this, make sure that you off the light. Once you off the light and everywhere is dark, no bed is going to drink water. So, when you soak it, make sure to come very early the next morning before the daylight comes into the house and give them lights to be able to see. Make sure you come very early in the morning and discharge that water. While discharging the water, most of these cheesy materials inside the pipe will find their way out because you've already sanitized the pipe and immediately you put fresh water and flush the pipe before you give the bears the regular water they should drink for the day. The third thing you need to do, this one is daily, is to do what we call a nipple check to make sure that each of the nipple is dispensing water. You know, these bears need constant flow of water to avoid dehydration. And as a farmer who has already installed a nipple drinker, at times the nipple drinker might be giving you for soap. That water is flowing out from each nipple. But in order to be sure, daily you need to come to the farm. Probably after washing the cups of the nipple, you tap each nipple to make sure that they are dispensing water. So what you are checking is if during the tap, that water is dropping. If water is dropping, that means that one is okay. Nothing is blocking it. Because the possible things that can block the nipple itself from discharging water are drug particles inside the pipe. At times, they come around here, inside the nipple, and then accumulate, thereby not allowing the water to flow. And most times, the bears come to drink, and nothing is coming out. Meanwhile, as a farmer, you think that everything is okay and the bears are drinking. This brings us to number four. Number four is to prevent blockage of the pipe. As in, you know, the water is coming from the tank and there is a pipe bringing it into the poultry house. At times, this pipe gets blocked by either stones or particles from the sumer, from the borehole itself. So most times what you need to do to prevent this is to install filters in the pipe leading to the water coming into the poultry house itself. Or at times, you once in a while, you flush your borehole so that you reduce some of these particles that are already inside the bowl. Number five, if you want your nipple drinkers to last, make sure you, you install a pipe holder. I've seen many people who have shown me their nipple drinkers in the farm and they don't have a pipe holder. This is what I mean by pipe holder. This is, um, this is an angle pipe. You must not use an angle pipe to do yours. You understand? You can still use something that can hold the pipes together. The work of this angle pipe is to make sure that the pipes are straight. You understand? The pipe, you know, normally pipes are flexible and they can become saggy. When these bears become heavier along the way, most times they jump on the pipe and along the way, if the pipe strength has been overwhelmed by the weight of the bears, the pipe might break. So in order to prevent this, find any possible thing that can hold the pipe together to keep it straight so that even when the bears climb on top, nothing will happen. For us here, we are using an angle pipe. If you can get a wood that can do the same function, you do it. All you just have to do for us, the angle pipe, after mounting it, we, here is binding wire. Use binding wire to hold it intact. And if you keep going, it keeps in the binding wires, holding them intact. And then finally, observe your beds. Your best can give you an indication that water is not coming out. And the way to notice this is to just observe their drinking habits. If you notice that your best normally avoid most nipples and then they all cluster towards one particular direction to drink water from there, that's an indication that most nipples are blocked or they are not functioning. That's why they are all clustering at a particular spot that is functional. So as a smart farmer, make sure you go check why they are not drinking from those places. What are the routine activities you do in your farm to make sure that the nipple drinker functions effectively? Please feel free to share with us in the comment section of this video. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel and then see you next time.